We will now look at the base catalyzed mechanism for the hydrolysis of an acid anhydride. So that's this one here. We're using H2O and OH minus in the first step, and in some second step we're using second H, uh, we're using H plus. Now the mechanism will be a negative type mechanism because we've got this OH negative here, and then the H plus will be added in some second step. This doesn't make it acidic as, as an acidic mechanism. This is just added to make sure that we get neutral products at the end. All right, so let's take a look at the, the mechanism for the base catalyzed one, and it's going to go something like this. We've got our pattern here. As I said, it's going to be a negative pattern. We can see what the Y group is. The Y group is going to be this. The X group will be OH And X negative, of course, would be OH negative. So you can see we've got our OH group that's going to add here, and then the Y minus will be uh, would would end up being this. Would end up being this entire group here. That's Y minus. And you can see that the H plus then would be added to make sure that everything becomes positive at the end. All right, so let's talk about the mechanism for this now. Because water is a symmetric reagent and OH minus, it's going to come from water. Uh, what this means is it doesn't matter which carb carbonyl group we end up attacking, we'll still end up with the same products at the end. And we'll talk more about symmetry in a little while, but here's the, well, just for the sake of argument, we'll attack the first carbonyl group. And again, this is just going to follow that same negative mechanism as we've uh, already been discussing. And then the negative comes down and kicks out the leaving group. Alright, so now we've got a carboxylic acid formed and we've got this uh, carboxylate ion formed from the other side as well. Now because we're in a basic solution, an OH minus, what's going to happen is the OH minus is actually going to come in and remove the proton from the carboxylic acid. Now the reason this occurs is because carboxylic acids are indeed acidic. This only happens when we've got carboxylic acids formed in a basic solution. So anytime you've got a C double bond O with an OH formed in a basic solution, it will always lose its proton to form the carboxylate ion. So we'll have that. And from the previous step, we'll have the other carboxylate ion as well. And then we can have the H plus added and this is the H plus that's in the second step that we're adding right now and we will end up getting our products which is this acid and this acid Now a common question I get here is, well, why doesn't the H plus just add to this O negative? We leave this as a carboxylic acid. Well, the thing is that if this carboxylic acid forms in a basic solution, it will turn into an anion. So the H plus is not added until everything has happened here. And uh, as soon as this carboxylic acid forms, the very instant it forms in solution, the OH minus from the base will remove this proton straight away and leave us with an anion. And then when we add the H plus, what we're doing is we're just adding enough H plus to neutralize the solution, that is to make it to pH 7. So even though you don't see any indication of how much H plus has been added here, you might think, well, it's just one equivalent, but it isn't. It's as much H plus as is required 
to turn this solution from a basic solution which has O negatives in it into a neutral solution or in this case an acidic solution that's just going to have the carboxylic acids as products. So this is a very important step to realize and realize this only ever happens when we form carboxylic acids in basic solutions.